Today's webinar is going to be all about creating a map tour. So just kind of an overview of a map tour and how to set one of these up within your content management system. My name is Courtney Conover. I am the Senior Client Success Manager here at Concept3D. Um, on the screen is my contact information. Feel free to jot that down and reach out in case you have any questions, or you can always reach out to your Client Success Manager as well. So for today's agenda, first we're going to start with an overview of map tours. So kind of what are these map tours and some advanced features and best practices we have around those. Next, we'll move into the live demonstration. So how to create a new map tour within your content management system. And then lastly, we'll leave some room for questions. So throughout this webinar, if you do have any questions come up, feel free to add those into that Q&A box and we will definitely get to all those at the end of the webinar. All right, so first, what is a map tour? Um, so this is a way to utilize your current map platform and create more of a guided virtual tour experience through those amazing renderings. Um, so these are great to create something as a virtual walking tour of campus or even maybe a self-guided driving tour uh, currently with the times. Um, but they don't ha always have to be just an overview of kind of all the offerings of campus. You can definitely specify these down to be more focused on maybe certain departments or even specific events that you might have going on. Um, it's really just a way to utilize the map and create more of a guided experience through a specific set of information. Um, so with your current subscription as a map client, you do have full access to map tours. So you can create as many of these as you would like and definitely get very customized with them. As far as setting up a map tour, we have two options for including tour stops. So the first one is creating a new tour stop location. So adding new media, description, um, and you can create all of these within the tour itself. But the second option we have, which is really nice, is you can repurpose existing locations. So let's say you already have some locations on your map that are really rich in content. They have tons of imagery and videos, and we really just wanna add all these into a tour to make sure that people are being guided through this information. We can repurpose those locations and include them within map tours as well. Some advanced settings that we have available within the tours. So the first one is forms. So this is a native lead generation form that we have available within map tours. These are fully customizable and you can include them in some tours, not others. It's entirely up to you. Um, but it will give you the option to include certain fields for the user to fill out. And then that information is accessible through your content management system. So making sure that you're just getting some information from those visitors who are taking those tours. Secondly, we do give you the option to edit the description in HTML. So this is really great if you want to get a bit more customized, maybe add some extra styling and branding that is native to you guys. We do allow you to add that in HTML to get that level of customization. And then lastly is our private setting. So some of you might be familiar with this as it is kind of ingrained in different areas of our mapping platform, but it basically is the ability to hide a tour from the embed map on the website or that, that main front end map, but then you still have the ability to share it through a custom URL. Some best practices we have with these map tours the first one is going to be the link. So we have found that usually the best sweet spot for tour length is about eight to 10 stops. So with this length of a tour, you really are keeping the users engaged and making sure that they're interacting with all of that content you've included. When we start to get into the 20, 25, 30 stop range, we start to see users drop off. So especially if we wanna make sure users are viewing all this content, we always like to go with the mentality of short and sweet and really packing a punch with those tours. The next best practice we have is focus on content. So we allow you to add so much rich content in, in here, images, videos, 
um, text description, audio files. So just making sure that you're taking advantage of all of those options and including all of that content. And then lastly, in your sidebar, your tours will start to build up. So we give you the option to group these map tours as well as adjust the hierarchy of those. So let's say you have some tours that are, are similar and, and might all relate to admissions or specific departments or events, just grouping all those together to make it nice and easy for users to find what they're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and move into the demonstration on how to set one of these map tours up within your content management system. So for this portion, I'm going to switch into the CMS, and that's where we'll focus our time today. So before I actually go into setting up a map tour, I want to point out how we're going to include these existing locations. So you'll notice over here in my sidebar, I've actually left this academic category toggled on because there are some locations in here that I know I actually just want to repurpose and include within that map tour. So I'm going to leave that category checked. Next, I'm going to come down here to this red button in the bottom left hand corner that says new map tour and go ahead and click on that. So over in our sidebar is where we have some settings available for the map tour itself. These are all optional. You don't have to touch every single one of these to get this created, but they are available to you. One that I would like to point out that is definitely a useful um, one to, to toggle on is going to be that default zoom. So if we want a user to be a little bit more zoomed in on the renderings or a little bit more zoomed out, all we have to do is adjust that view on the right hand side of the map and then hit set. So this is really important just to make sure that our users are being taken into that zoom level so they can have a nice view of the tour itself. And then down here towards the bottom of those settings is going to be that additional form option. So if we do have this option available to us, we can go ahead and toggle this to yes and update some settings in here for the form that we want visitors to the tour to fill out. Below that in this darker gray box, this is going to be the quick little description that we see in the sidebar for that tour. So we want to make sure it's nice and short and sweet and just a, a nice descriptor of what this tour is going to take the visitor on. So for the example today, I'm going to title it campus tour and then I'm going to add a nice and short description. So we want to make sure that these aren't too long, um, just something that will give an idea of what the tour will be taking on, us on. Next, we want to add a thumbnail image. So this is just another piece of content that we can add in here to make sure that our visitors are getting a nice idea. So I'm going to go ahead and upload and we do have that recommended size for you right there. All right, so now I've added some settings in here. I have my sidebar all set to go. So I have to actually add tour stops to this tour. So the first one I'm going to create a new stop. So this is one that is not existing already as a location. So I'm going to hit that blue button that says new stop and then out will slide my options to create that new location. So first I need to add a title for this tour stop. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Taylor Lake as my example today. If I scroll down through my options, I'm going to select a photo to upload as some additional media. And once that image has loaded, I do want to point out, you'll see these two options. So the first will look almost like a little pencil icon, and then the X will be the, the option to remove the image entirely. So this first option is the ability to add an alt tag to that image. So if we're focusing on accessibility of the tour as well, we definitely want to make sure we're adding in an alt tag description for those screen reader users that are accessing the tour. Some additional options for media, you can use an image URL, you can tie YouTube or Vimeo video to these tours, and then some of you might have the option to add a panorama. So this is an additional feature in our platform. If you have a 360 panorama category already existing in your map, you can simply search and add those in here. Don't worry if you don't see this, it's just not currently in the map itself. 
Next, I want to add a description. So describing what this tour stop is. Let's go ahead and paste a description in here. So now that we've added all of our content for our tour stop, we have to pin that location on the map itself. So that's where this toolbar is going to come into play. I'm going to use the first one, which is our marker icon. So I'm going to click on that marker. It will light up as blue and gray out the rest, letting you know you've selected it. And then click on the map where I would like to drop that icon. If I need to adjust it from here, I can always click and drag to move that icon to a different location on the map. Once I've pinned that location, added my content, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. So we've now created our first tour stop. Over here in the sidebar at the bottom left-hand corner, we'll see our tour stop list start to build. So for my next tour stops, I want to use these two existing locations because I know the content here is already great and it's gonna apply right to my tour as well. So all I have to do to add those as tour stops is click on those icons and we've added those as a tour stop. So here you'll notice this blue path line is starting to build between my tour stops. Using those white nodes, I can always adjust those, especially if we're maybe making more of a walking guided tour through campus. We can avoid some people flying over roofs and going through all the grass fields that we have. Or over here in the sidebar, you'll see a setting called display tour path slash line. And we can always turn that path line off as well if we don't need that. So let's go ahead and add one more new location into our tour. I'm gonna to return over to that blue new stop button. The same exact settings will slide out for me. So let's go ahead and add a title for this location. We can upload another image. And there's no limit to the amount of images you can have uploaded within these tour stops. But again, just a best practice, we don't want to overwhelm the visitor with images. So probably best to keep it max five to 10. We don't want to get up into that 30 image mark. And then for this location, I'm actually going to choose to edit an HTML. So I want to get a little bit more customized with how my description is looking within my tour sidebar. Let's click on the marker icon, drop that pin on the map, and hit save. So we've now added that fourth stop as a tour stop. Over here in our list that we're seeing of our tour stops, we have a few options to mess with. So the first one is we can always adjust the order of these stops using these arrows to the left of the number. So let's say I actually wanna switch stop three and two. I'm just gonna drag those to adjust my order. Now it looks like a little bit better path for my users versus going kind of back and forth between those locations. Over on the right hand side, this is where you can upload an audio file to that tour stop. The X will remove that tour stop. And then the, lastly, I like to point out the edit buttons. So you'll notice that the locations that we created in the tour are the only ones that allow us to edit. So since stop two and three were existing locations outside of the tour, we can't edit them within here. We would have to edit those at the root location. But if we wanted to edit the ones that we already created, just go ahead and hit that edit button and it pops us right back up into all of those settings that we went through. Now that I've set up my tour, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save up here at the top. Now, once we've saved, we can see our new campus tour here in our sidebar. That edit button will return us right back to that edit page if we need to make additions or changes. But let's say I'm ready for this tour to go live. I'm going to come up here to this publish tab. You'll see a red one has tickered in here, letting us know that we've made an addition or some type of revision in the CMS. So in order for this map tour to go live, we need to toggle that checkbox and hit publish. Now that we've published our tour, we can go ahead and take a look at this on the front end. So I'm gonna to switch to the front end of the same 
map and refresh that page. Now that we've refreshed, I'm going to toggle to the Tours tab and we can see our new campus tour that we've created. So here's our nice title and description with our image. And then if I click on that tour, I'm right in here to taking our tour. So this is where your title will display, your image in any other media, and then your description right below. So as we toggle through, you'll notice these are those existing locations. We just repurpose right into this map tour. And then this last one, you'll see the description looks a lot more stylized and customized. So this is the one that we use that HTML for. Returning back into the CMS, the last piece I do want to point out, if we want to group those map tours or adjust the hierarchy, hierarchy at all, we can do that down here at the bottom. You'll see a button called sort map tours. So if we select this button, this is where we can create a new group and then we can drag and drop to adjust the order of those tours or to add them into groups. All of the map tours, just like the, the front end of the map, are mobile friendly as well. Um, and you'll notice up here in the top left corner, you can always click on share. So if you want to send a link to a specific stop on the tour, you have the ability to do so as well. All right, so that concludes our live demonstration.